So talking about lignin, um, we have these units which are polymerized into the lignin um, molecule, macromolecule. And we have this substitution here. Of those groups. Now when these units are bonded into the lignin molecule, so we might have bonds there and bonds there, maybe bonds there, something like that. I forgot to draw a chemical bond there. Apologies. Um, the ratio of these is known as the syringal guile sile. I think that's how you spell it. It might not be how you spell it, so I recommend you look that up. So we're always measuring um, in lignin, the SG ratio is something that's very important. Um, the other one is just called hydroxyphenyl. So where we don't have the substitution, we just call that hydroxyl or something, hydroxyphenyl. So the SGH ratio is an important property of the lignin because it determines the cross-link density. And the one other thing I wanted to mention was the, the bonding between hemicelluloses and lignin forms something called a lignin carbohydrate complex. You can't really deal with hemicelluloses separately from lignin. The two are intimately mixed in the wood cell wall. And the lignin carbohydrate complex involves a bond between a sugar molecule and the lignin. And you'll remember that the bond between the hemicellulose backbone and the, uh, and the microfibril, that's hydrogen bonding, so that can be broken, that can stick and unstick. This is a chemical bond, and there's two types of bond that can form between the sugars and the lignin. You can either have an ether bond, which is a carbon-oxygen-carbon bond. That's quite a resistant chemical bond to, um, to chemical, attack, to, uh, chemical attack. This is the sort of bond that you get between the hemicelluloses and the lignin in the wood cell wall, and to break that bond, you have to use sulfur, because uh, in sulfur pulping reactions, there aren't many um, chemical reactions that will actually break ether bonds. They're fairly limited. Uh, in grasses, we don't have ether bonds, we have ester bonds. And the ester bond is something like that. And ester bonds are much more easily broken, uh, you can use alkali uh, to break those, hydrolyze them. So uh, lignins in grasses are much more easy to remove than lignins in wood. We don't need sulfur pulping for lignins in grasses, so things like straw and bagasse, they will use what's called soda pulping. And here we would have to use, well we've already talked about it, craft pulping, which is a mixture of sodium sulfate and sodium hydroxide or we use bisulfite. In both cases, these are sulfur pulping methods. So that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.